हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम मरमोगान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू ऑल लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार so guys let's start today the information hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're diving into the latest updates on the iraqi dinar from intel master first let's address a common question do the new atm machines in iraq have the capability to handle the lower denomination notes i'll be reaching out to my contact at the iraqi bank to get more information on this Regarding the recent statements by Prime Minister al-Sudani, he mentioned that the dinar is expected to become stronger than the dollar. This would lead to a more balanced market, making it cheaper for Iraq to conduct its business. It's a straightforward concept. The stronger the currency, the more affordable it becomes for Iraq to operate. Intel sources have ranked this as highly significant. Why is al-Sudani installing thousands of new ATM machines across Iraq right now? According to Intel sources like GR and PDK, it's crucial for Iraq to update the rate in the budget before we can make plans. However, some sources like Mars believe that it might not be necessary to reveal the rate immediately, similar to how they handled the previous coup. Now, let's address another crucial question. Since Iraq is removing the old currency within the country and issuing new currency at an increased rate, greater than $1, will they also remove the zeros from the old currency outside of Iraq before we can exchange it? Will our 25,000 IQD notes become equivalent to the new 25 IQD note, or will we receive the updated value directly through Forex? It's important to understand if the new value will be reflected in the Forex rates or if there will be a direct incentive applied to our notes. There is speculation about the forex rate for the 20,000 note. Some believe confidence in Iraq has waned, but there is a general consensus that Iraq will prosper. Even if there are setbacks, oil revenue is expected to rise. On June 12, 2011, Prime Minister Mazrur Barzani of the Kurdistan Regional Government welcomed Patrick Drive, the newly appointed French ambassador to Iraq. Prime Minister Barzani congratulated Ambassador Drive on his new position and emphasized the importance of strong relations between France and Kurdistan for future progress. Ambassador Drive reaffirmed France's commitment to enhancing bilateral relations and announced that a delegation of French companies would soon visit Iraq and Kurdistan to support trade and investment. Their discussion also stressed the importance of conducting the Kurdistan parliamentary elections this year with transparency, fairness, and the participation of all parties and communities. Additionally, they emphasized resolving issues between the Kurdistan region and the federal government in accordance with the Iraqi constitution, ensuring rights and financial entitlements. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.